This little guy here, it's Kenny. He was our first grandson, born May 29, 2012. He had a heart defect, so he pretty much spent the, his whole entire life in Iowa City in the NICU. So while he was down there, my daughter and her husband pretty much lived at the Ronald McDonald House. So we got to, we went down there and stayed there. Um, he passed away in September. We were down there the week before he passed away. We pretty much lived at the Ronald McDonald House, my wife and myself. And they have these little boxes that containers that they save tabs and cash them in for the for recycling for the aluminum for the metal. And they use that money to um, operating expenses at the Ronald McDonald House. So um, to keep Kenny's memory alive, I started saving tabs. I went back to work at Hy-Vee and said, "Hey, can we put a container in the break room for all the pop tabs?" And, it kind of grew over that, family, friends. Um, I reached out to him and said, hey, how about saving tabs for me? And, um, it's grown to where I've, getting, I've got schools that save them for me. Two years of tabs, he said, this is cool. We have many wonderful employees who are all very passionate about different organizations. And, you know, Jim's just, his level of participation is just that of um, the most, the most, um, I guess driven, most passion, and you know when he came to me uh, to talk about Ronald McDonald House and for research for the kids. You know we started with the pop tabs, and we also do uh, great work with the research for the kids organization based here in the Dubuque Key West area. And uh, Jim's a passionate man, and so you're not going to deny him wanting to do good for an organization that does good for so many people who have youngsters that have to stay at the U of I Children's Hospital with severe illnesses.